Okay, we can start our lesson on um, yeah, 16, 15, yeah, still two minutes. We can wait other students to come in, yeah. Two more minutes, we'll start our lesson, yeah. This is uh, the things we learned last time, yeah. Okay, one more thing before the class. Yeah. And during the class, you you should all mute your microphone. Yeah. So that everybody can hear me clearly. Yeah. So when we need to do some practice, yeah, you can open your microphone and speak. Okay. Okay, good evening. Let's begin our class. Yeah. Okay, last time we learned uh, pinyin and four tones and how to say hello and goodbye. Yeah. First, let's watch some video and have a quick review of the pinyin we learned. Yeah, the first video is about introduction to pinyin, the general introduction. Strokes. 
For example, here is a word, 你好 which means hello in English. But only by these strokes, you can tell how to pronounce it. That's what makes learning pinyin very important. And what does pinyin consist of? Let's take a word for example. This word is called ma, ma, which means mother in English. Here, the first letter M, which is pronounced mu in pinyin, is called initial. And behind it is an A, which is pronounced a in pinyin, and we call it final. What about the accent on the top of A? This accent is called tone in pinyin. So basically, pinyin is made of three parts, which are initial, final, and tone. The initials and finals are not hard to use as we've got similar letters in English. We only need to know how to pronounce each letter in Chinese pronunciation system. However, tones may be a little bit new to you. Normally, we got four tones in pinyin, like the word ma. Here, ma is a flat tone, which we call the first tone. If we put the second tone on it, which is a rising tone, it will be red, ma, 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 which could mean a fiber. Then let's put the third tone, a falling rising tone on it. Then it will be red, ma, 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 which might mean a horse in Chinese. What about the last one? The last tone is a falling tone. So if you read it, the fourth tone, it is red, ma, 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 which probably means to school people. You see, if the word ma is pronounced with different tones, we can get four completely different words out of it. Which are ma, 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 ma. Today we just give you a glimpse of what pinyin is like. In the following lessons, we will learn initials, finals, and tones one by one, and we will also give you many useful words to make practical for you. Talk to you soon. Okay. Just now we reviewed the. Basics of the pinyin and tones. Yeah, now let's find some students to read the four tones. Yeah, to see if they still remember it. Yeah, let's take this as an example. Let's see. Yeah, who would like to read the tones? Yeah, the four tones. Anyone? A volunteer. Yeah, and a volunteer. Yeah. Ma. Yeah. Ma. Yeah. Ma. Ma. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. The third one is ma. First, ma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, ma. Yeah. The ma. first is. Yeah, ma, yeah, ma, yeah, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, the third one is ma, ma. The first down, then up. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, next, next one. Yeah. Anyone else? I'm gonna try. Okay. Ma. 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 Yeah. So uh, the first one is ma. Yeah, flat. Ma. Oh, flat. Ma. 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 Yeah. The second ma. one is up. Ma. Up. Ma. Ma. Yeah, ma. The third one is ma, 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 ma. Yeah, okay. Last one is great. Yeah, ma, ma. Yeah, ma. 
Yeah, okay. Now you can mute your microphone. We can go to next video. Okay. Mute or mute your microphone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one, 大家好, means hello, everyone. Yeah, 大家好.
Yeah, we have a quick review of the finals we learned last time. Yeah. I want to recommend you this website is very useful. Yeah. On the YouTube, you can search this everyday Chinese. Yeah, everyday Chinese. They have a lot of videos talking about how to pronounce different pinyin. Yeah. I think after class, you can watch them and have a review. Yeah. Yeah. On the YouTube, you can just search everyday Chinese. Yeah, they have a lot of videos. Yeah, they have made a lot of videos. You can arrange. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. And see all the videos. Yeah. Okay, we can go to next video. And uh, this one. Yeah, about tones and the neutral tones. The last time we just talked talk about four tones. There is another one called neutral tone, Qing Sheng. Let's watch this.
possible example is the Chinese word for I or me, which we've learned before. So from this video, we can see that tones are very important in your learning of Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Last time we also talked about the four initials: the guo, hu, mu, fu. Yeah, let's have a review. The initials. The next one is 
place to. 我怕你，我怕你。Let's read again. 
longer. E yeah. E R. San. San. Si. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Next one. Next volunteer. Yeah. Sure. Oh. E R. San. Si. Yeah, uh, the last one, si. 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 Yeah, si. Yeah, it's like the si. Yeah, like the side. Si. Yeah. Si. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, next one. Find one more student. Oh, I'll go. I'll go. Si. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, let's go to the next page. In yeah, next page, we are going to learn more greetings. Yeah, the first one is good morning. Yeah, good morning is 早上好. Yeah, first you can read out me, you can mute your microphone, then we will have some students to practice. Yeah, 早上好. So 早上 means morning, 好 means good. Yeah, so the word order is different. In English, we say good first, but in Chinese, we say good last. Yeah, 早上好, good morning. Yeah. Next one is good afternoon. 下午好. Yeah, 下午好. 下午好, good afternoon. And then the third one is good evening. 晚上好. Yeah, 晚上好. The last one, good night. 晚安. Yeah, 晚安. Okay, one more time. Yeah, 早上好. 早上好. 下午好. Good afternoon. Yeah. 下午好. Yeah. Wan Shang Hao. Yeah. Good evening. Wan An. Wan An. Good night. Also, here we are going to learn the two countries. Yeah. The first one is Zhong Guo. Yeah. China. Zhong Guo. Zhong Guo. Yeah. Second one is Ba Ba Duo Si. Yeah, Barbados. Yeah, in Chinese we call it Ba Ba Duo Si. Yeah, we can see the two countries one more time. Yeah, Zhong Guo, Zhong Guo, and Ba Ba Duo Si. Yeah, we can see that the Chinese pronunciation is literally yeah get from the English pronunciation Barbados Ba Ba Duo Si. Okay, now let's have some students to practice these greetings and two countries. Okay, any volunteer? I elbow. Okay. Uh, 早上好. 下午好. 晚上好. 晚安. And the countries, yeah. Zhongguo. Yeah. Ba Ba Duo Si. Yeah, okay, very good, yeah. Okay, very good, well done, yeah. Fei <laughs> Chang is very good, yeah. Okay, next volunteer. Okay, I'll go. Okay. Zhang Shang Hao. Xia Wu Hao. Wan Shang Hao. One an. Okay. Zhong Gu. Okay. Yeah. Abados. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. So Zhong Gu. Right. Yeah, Gu is second. Zhong Gu. Yeah. Zhong Gu. Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank well you. Done. Yeah. Next one. Hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Zao Shang Hao. 
Xiao Wu Hao, Wan Shang Hao, Wan An, Zhang Bu, Ba Ba Bo Su. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. I see all of you learned very fast. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. So, how do you greet, yeah, greet you maybe at, at this time? Do you say good evening or say good night at this time of, of the day here in Barbados? Maybe right now. If it's dark, we might say good night. <laughs> good night. I think I need some after six and good night. Okay. Before 6 p.m., it's normally good evening. Or yeah. sorry, good afternoon. After 6 is good evening. And then when you're leaving, you're seeing final time you're seeing someone, it is good night. Yeah. So maybe a little difference here. In China, usually in the evening, yeah, you, you just say wan shang hao, yeah, good evening. Only when you're saying goodbye, you say wan an. When you say wan an in Chinese, it means goodbye. Yeah, means you are leaving. Yeah. So that's the only difference. Here I see people maybe in the evening they also when they meet each other, they also say good night. They can also say that. Yeah. But in China, when you say Wan An, it means you are leaving. Yeah, it's goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Just that one little example. Yeah, okay, let's uh let's have a short break and uh, watch a video about Chinese food. Yeah, do you love Chinese food? Yeah, here in Barbados, there are a lot of Chinese restaurants. Yeah. Have you tried some of them? Yeah. yeah here I have video yeah. in the Chinese, yeah, Chinese food here, yeah. The five major cuisines of China, yeah. We can watch this video. Shandong cuisine, also called Lu Wei or Lu cuisine, is the early 
the shutdown when it's alive because it lies along the yellow seed with which you and flames in four very distinctive seasons. Seed fruit, freshwater produce, grains, poultry, fruits, and vegetables. While the birds and animals are abundant, Chateau chefs are well rounded in their skills and are famous for their ball and its hot methods of cooking. Ball is a quick stir fry in high heat, and like the scholar Mamou from the Qing Dynasty said, quick stir fry the fruit in boiling oil, add in the spices, and it's done. If it's extremely crispy, then it's done right. Ball is usually done instantaneously. The nutrients are well preserved, and the fruit is light and not greasy. Thai is a unique cooking method in Shandong. The main ingredients are spiced and starched, and then Thai fried and simmered in soup or sauce. For example, Huat Ha Do Ho or Wak Ta Tofu is a very traditional and popular Shandong dish. Number three, my sort of nemesis, Cantonese cuisine. This is probably the most popular type of Chinese cuisine here in the U.S. as there are many Cantonese or Cantonese influenced restaurants here. And uh, sorry, this is like I said, probably my least favorite cuisine because Cantonese dishes have the lightest taste compared with other Chinese cuisines. And uh, I'm a very sauce heavy, spicy, eat in every single dish type of guy. You know, maybe I should have a T-shirt that says that. Anyway, Cantonese cuisine is known for its wide use of fresh ingredients and creativity. Cantonese chefs are great at adjusting dishes according to seasonal and climatic changes. For example, Cantonese summer and fall dishes taste lighter, while the winter and spring dishes are richer and uh, zestier. Cantonese cuisine originates from Guangdong province and is made up of cuisines from three principal areas: Guangzhou, Chaozhou, and Dongyang. Since the Han and Wei dynasty, Guangzhou, also called Yuzhou, has been a major port city in southern China. It is situated in the subtropics, bordering on the South China Sea, where rainfall is abundant and the area is rich in produce, fresh seafood, and delicacies year-round, which help to shape the freshness and natural light flavoring that Cantonese cuisine is known for. Number four, Hua Yang cuisine. The Hua Yang style of cooking emphasizes material selection and uses more sugar than other Chinese cuisines. It is known for its meticulous preparation process and a fine balance between rich flavor and pure taste. Hua Yang cuisine focuses on preserving the original flavors of the produce and specializes in braising, stewing, roasting, and boiling. These methods bring out the original flavor of the ingredients. Hua Yang dishes are all fresh, crispy. Tender qualities from southern China and incorporates savory color and richness from the north. As a result, this cuisine is well liked by both southerners and northerners, except for me, because I find the dishes way too sweet. But soup dumplings that I like. My young cuisine is derived from the native cooking styles of the region surrounding the lower reaches of the Huai and Yangtze River, hence the name, and it centers on the cities of Yangzhou and Huai'an in Jiangsu Province. It originated in the early Qing Dynasty and gained national fame during the Sui Dynasty and Tang Dynasty. Huai Yang cuisine has had a profound impact on the culinary culture in Suzhou, Zhejiang, Hanoi, and Shanghai, all of which quickly took on their own characteristics. And finally, number five, Northeastern cuisine. The cuisine of Northeastern China refers to the cuisines of Jilin, Yaoning, and Yilongjiang provinces, and it has been well known since ancient times. China, the yeah, these three provinces are the northeast of China, Heilongjiang, Jilin, Liaoning. Yeah. Right now, at the northeast, it's very cold. Yeah, they have very heavy snow. Yeah. If you want to experience snow, maybe next time you can go there. Yeah, it's like the Canada, very cold. Yeah. Seems of Jilin, Liaoning, and Heilongjiang provinces. And it has been well known since ancient times. It originated from the Qing Dynasty during the early 12th century. Due to the extremely cold weather in the region, people are accustomed to eating temperature wise very hot food. And so cooking techniques such as casserole, hot pots, and roasting were developed. Northeastern cuisine uses native crops of its mountainous land and is famed for its wild game dishes like rabbits and boar. Knife skills and command of fire and fire temperature are important in its chef's training. Cooking techniques make use of quick stir fry over high heat, stir fry over low heat, stewing, barbecuing, 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. During uh, in the video, it mentioned the five famous yeah major cuisines of China. Yeah. Do you still remember? <laughs> oh, which one do you like? Yeah. The first one is Sichuan. Yeah. Sichuan Chuan Cai. Yeah. In Sichuan province, it is very spicy. It's spicy. Yeah. The second one is in Shandong province. In Shandong. Near Beijing, Lu Cai, yeah, Lu Cai. Actually, I haven't tasted Lu Cai. Yeah. The third one is Yue Cai in Guangdong Province, in the southern part. Guangdong, yeah, Guangdong is the weather is uh, very similar to here. Very similar to here. Yeah. And a lot of chefs in Barbados comes from Guangdong Province. Yeah, from, comes from that place. Also, there are Huaiyang Cai and Dongbei Cai. Yeah. So if you go to China, you can experience a lot of different delicious food. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Okay, today we are going to learn yeah the self introduction, how to introduce yourself, and something about pinyin yeah pinyin okay first let's look at this yeah yeah here we have the new words the first one yeah the first one is jiao jiao means to call or to be called jiao jiao Number two, 什么? Yeah, 什么 means what? 对,什么? And number three, 名字 名字 means name, the name. Number four, 我 我 means I or me. And in the dialogue, there is a Chinese, Chinese name called Li Yue. Yeah, Li Yue. Yeah, can you guess Li and Yue, which is the surname? The which is the surname? Can you guess? Li. 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 Or Yue, the surname. Li is his surname. Yeah, correct. Yeah. In Chinese, it is different from the Western world. Yeah. In the English, you have the surname at last. But in China, in in China, we have a surname first, Li Yue. So Li is his, is her. Yeah, I think it's a girl. Yeah, it's her surname. Yue is her name. Yeah. So let's look at this dialogue. Yeah. The first sentence. 你叫什么名字? Yeah. 你叫什么名字? Which means what's your name? 你叫什么名字? Yeah, the answer, 我叫李月. Yeah, 我叫李月. My name is Li Yue. Okay, this dialogue, any volunteer want to read it? Yeah. Any volunteer want to read this dialogue? Okay. 你叫什么名字? Yeah, 什么? 什么名字? Yeah. 我叫李月? Uh, okay, good, yeah. 我叫李月. Okay, any other volunteer? 
你叫什么名字？ Yeah. 我喂，我叫李月。Yeah， 我 the third form， 我叫李月。我叫李月。Yeah， OK， very good， yeah， OK， next one。你叫什么名字？我叫李玉。Okay, good. Yeah, very good. You learn very fast. Yeah, <laughs> you learn faster than the middle school students. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay, here we have yeah, we have another picture here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you all know her. Yeah, we say. 他叫什么名字？ Yeah, 他叫什么名字？张角。Yeah, means what is her name? Yeah, we say 他叫雷哈娜 ，Rihanna. Yeah, in in Chinese, her name is 雷哈娜 Yeah, I think in China she's the most famous pavilion in China. Yeah. A lot of young people know her. Yeah. We can read this again. Yeah. 他叫什么名字？ Yeah. 他叫什么名字？他叫雷哈娜。Yeah. 他叫雷哈娜。Yes.、Yeah. So here, 他也 means she or her. Yeah. She or her. Okay, another one here to read this dialogue. I'll try. Ta jiao zhe me ming zi. Yeah. Yeah, the second sentence. Ta jiao lei ha na. This is second. Okay, another one. Elbow. Okay. 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 Go, Melanie. Thank you. Um, ta ja shin me means it. Yeah. This shen. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Ah, this. Uh, what is shen? Ma. Ta ja shen ma means. Yeah. Ta ja shen ma means. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Ta ja le hana. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, next one. One more student. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Ta ja shen ma ming zi. Yeah. Ta ja le hana. Yeah. Ta ja le hana. Okay, very good. Yeah. Right. Okay, we learn. Yeah. We learn one more、uh, dialogue. Yeah, this in this dialogue there are yeah six new words. Yeah, and the first one is 是 Yeah, 是 means to be. 是 Yeah. Number six, 老师 teacher. Yeah, 老师老师 And next word, 妈 Yeah, this is a neutral tone. We just learn. 轻声，对吗 ？Usually, it is used at the end of a question, yeah, to form a question. Yeah. Last one, 学生 student, yeah, 学生 yeah. Here we have the dialogue. Yeah, 你是老师吗 ？Yeah, are you a teacher? Yeah, 你是老师吗？我不是老师。我不是老师 means no, I'm not. Yeah, 我不是老师。我是学生. I am a student. Yeah, so this dialogue, we read it again. Yeah. 你是老师吗? 你是老师吗 ？Yeah, are you a teacher? Yeah. 我不是老师。
我不是老师, no, I'm not. 我是学生, I am a student. Okay, so this tell, and we want to try? I'll try. Okay. 你是老师吗? 我不是老师, 我是学生。yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, 我不是, yeah, 不是, second one. 我不, 我不是, yeah. 老师, yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, okay, next one. 你是老师吗？我不是老师。if you need to adjust your microphone yeah okay we find one more student to read this dialogue yeah one more yeah i'll try yeah Yeah, 我不是老师。我是学生, so we read these two words together. Yeah, 不是 means I'm not the teacher, I'm student. Yeah, 你是老师吗? Yeah, 我不是老师,我是学生。Hmm, okay, very good. Now let's look at a video about yeah asking somebody's name. Yeah. Can watch this video. Yeah, Yeah, what's your name?
hearing in Jiao translates to you are caught. Then Shenma is a question word which means what? Shenma the word means 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 name. Means so Ni Jiao Shenma means literally means you are called what name? That's right. To ask what's your name? In Chinese, we literally ask you are called what name? Now read after me. Li Jiao Shenma means once more. Li Jiao Shenma means now listen to the conversations one more time. Okay, so much for that. Yeah, today we learned, uh, yeah, the first, yeah, more greetings. Yeah, how to say good morning. 早上好. Yeah, 早上好. Good afternoon. 下午好. Good evening. 晚上好. Good night. 晚安. Also, we learned 中国八八多思. In lesson two, we learn how to ask people's names. Yeah. yeah. Also, we can ask her. Yeah. Also, we learn this dialogue. Yeah. 我不是老师,我是学生。Yeah. Today we don't have the time for the pronunciation part. Yeah, we will do it next time. Yeah. Also, you can find the videos yeah, on the website just I recommend to you. Yeah, this website, Everyday Chinese. Yeah, you can search it on the YouTube. Then you can find all the Pinyin lessons, pinyin lessons. Next time we are going to the learn the next uh, group of pinyin. Yeah. It has a lot of videos. Yeah. You can arrange the time, maybe from from past to now. Then you can get the most uh, simple ones, simple videos. Yeah. Or you can start, you can search, you can search here, you can search pinyin, you can search King in lesson, it will list all the King in lesson. You can lesson one, eight, six. Yeah. The order may be not correct. You can just watch it. You watch all the King in. Yeah, I think learning pronunciation may be a little bit boring, but it is very important. After learning it, you can know all the yeah, pronunciations, yeah, how to pronounce the Chinese word. Also, you can input Chinese. If you learn pinyin, maybe you can, like here, you can input Chinese in computer. Like today we learn Zhongguo. Here, you can use the Chinese method to, yeah, to input the Zhongguo, like here. Yeah, so it's very useful, Zhongguo. So that's all for today. And after class, I will email all the PowerPoints to you. Yeah. Also this website, yeah. Everyday Chinese. Yeah. So that's so much for today. Any questions? 
mm. for today's lesson. Do you have any questions? Yeah. I see you chatted a lot. Yeah. All right. No question. I have a question. Yeah. Why is why is good night so different from all the others? Why don't you say um uh, how at the end? You have one an or you you don't say how. Oh, one uh, yeah. yeah. One, one. one means night. Uh, means night. And usually means uh, when you sleep, it's very safe. And yeah. And. So one means goodbye. Yeah, means goodbye. You can. Yeah, you can okay. treat it as goodbye. Yeah, one and. Oh. Okay, one yeah. and. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One, uh, yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah, that's different. Yeah. So when you go to China, meet Chinese friends, maybe in the evening, if you have party in the evening, when you first meet them, don't say my aunt, because you only say it when you say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> and when you see them in the evening, you just say Wan Shang Hao. Yeah, Wan Shang Hao. When you are leaving, you can say goodbye, Wan An. Yeah. Is it okay to say Ni Hao anytime? Yeah, ni hao is, yeah, it's okay. Like you can say hello or hi anytime. Yeah. Yeah, but zhao zhang hao, wan zhang hao is more to be more specific. Yeah, be more specific. Okay. Yeah, also xia wu hao, good afternoon. Yeah, the afternoon may be longer in China than here. Here, I, sometimes I go out maybe at four or five o'clock. People will say good evening to me. But in China, we usually say good evening, maybe after six or seven. After it's dark, we say good evening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one little difference. Yeah. Yeah, do you have uh, any more questions? Yeah. We were talking about food. What's your favorite Chinese food or meal? <laughs> oh, the Chinese. A uh, favorite food, yeah. I like the hot pot, huo guo. Hot pot. Hot pot. Hot pot's good. Yeah, hot pot. It's a kind of soup. You can yeah, put different kind of vegetables and meat in it. But we don't have the hot pot here, yeah. It's a pity. So next yeah, time you go to China, you can try the hot pot, yeah. Guo guo. Actually, right now, I think they... There is a brand called Hai Di Lao. Yeah, they have opened the hot pot in a lot of Western countries, maybe America, Canada, England. You will all find the hot pot in restaurants in some big cities like London, New York, yeah, Toronto, you will find it. Yeah. It's very famous, yeah. Would you be okay with uh, us forming a whole a group to eat together? Maybe have like a, a meetup or something, all of us? Uh, yeah, so it's okay. That's what we were busy chatting about. Sorry, when watching the food video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also here is my WhatsApp number. If you have some questions, you can add me. 